Hello again, I'm Trisha from Real Fluency Now. If you've watched some of my other videos about teaching English, you already know that I like to teach English as it is really spoken by native speakers. A lot of traditional language schools teach using English that is abnormally slow and clear. And sometimes they only teach formal English and they spend way too much time with boring grammar exercises. I call this fake fluency because you will learn some English with it, but you won't reach real fluency. To reach real fluency, you need to learn real English as it is spoken in real life, fast with connected and reduced speech using slang, idioms, and phrasal verbs that you may not have learned yet. In casual conversations, we don't always follow all of the rules, use correct grammar, or even speak in complete sentences. So in my videos, I don't usually talk as slow as some English teachers, because you won't learn how to understand native speakers if the only English you hear is abnormally slow and clear. You need to be able to listen to and understand real English. If it is difficult to understand me in my videos, I usually have text on the screen that you can read. Following along with the text is especially helpful to develop the listening skill of understanding connected and reduced speech of native speakers. Repeating and shadowing what you hear will help you with listening and also help you to develop better intonation and stress while speaking English. I suggest that to improve your listening and speaking skills, that you use my LLRS method, which is one, to listen while reading, two, listen without reading, three, repeat, and four, shadow. Let's go over that in more detail. Now, what you first need to use this method is recordings in English that are either mp3s or videos. I have recordings in my courses that you can use or you can use YouTube videos. The recordings need to have text or transcript to go along with it. You can start with slower recordings if you really need to, but as quickly as you can you should use recordings that are from native speakers talking at a faster, more normal speed. And you also need a way to stop or pause between sentences or phrases. Now let's go in more detail. One, listen while reading. Part A. First, test if you can completely understand what is being said in a recording without looking at the words. If you can, then go on to step two. Otherwise, B is to listen to the recording while reading along with the words. C is to repeat this a few times until you understand what is being said much, much better. Step two is to listen without reading. So first you listen to the recording without looking at the words. Then listen a few more times. If it still isn't clear, then go back to step one. I recommend that you only repeat steps one and two a few times a day, then move on to step three. Number three is repeat. So first, listen to a phrase or sentence and repeat what you heard as best you can. And pay special attention to the stress and intonation and do it yet again. Number four is to shadow. This means to try and say the phrase or sentence along with the recording while you are listening to it. Now this step might be really hard for you, but just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. An optional step is to try recording yourself saying the phrase or sentence and then check to see how close you sound like the original recording. Then repeat this entire process again and again with new recordings. Once a week or once a month, depending upon how much time you have to study. Go back and review the recordings you studied with before to see how you are progressing. Would you like to try this method with a sample from one of my courses? You can click here to try it out. 
or you can watch other videos in this playlist or learn some phrasal verbs or idioms or learn more about how to learn English. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.